right good morning my dear students uh, in this session we will uh, see how uh, two hinged circular arches uh, are being solved with some examples so previous session uh, uh, was uh, to introduct uh, uh, introduce the uh, two hinged arches and particularly uh, to uh, develop the equation for uh, solving for uh, horizontal thrust or horizontal reaction which is uh, taken as redundant reaction so it was uh, a, a simple equation is derived uh, uh, which is h is equal to uh, integral m dash y ds uh, divided by integral uh, y square ds okay so that we are going to use uh, to solve for uh, the arch uh, uh, geometry two hinged arch with the different geometry right maybe circular or maybe parabolic okay so this session uh, we will see uh, circular arches of two hinged in nature okay right this is an example problem uh, for uh, you to practice uh, uh, how we solve a two hinged arch okay let's see the question first so determine horizontal thrust developed in a semicircular arch of radius r subjected to a concentrated load capital p at the crown okay so now you have only uh, two hinges one is at uh, springing point a uh, another springing point b and no hinge at crown point that is c okay right uh, so let's start with uh, we are uh, now asked for horizontal thrust only uh, as you know that the determination of horizontal thrust uh, itself is a, a, a lengthy one so uh, sometimes the examiner uh, may be interested in asking for uh, only horizontal thrust uh, value okay so anyhow let's see so h you uh, write the formula derived from the earlier session so integral m dash y ds uh, divided by ea is you know when ea is constant it, it will uh, cancel out so divided by integral y square ds uh, this is a formula uh, now uh, to substitute into this equation you need m dash value and you need y value and you need ds value right so these three uh, must be replaced in this equation same as denominator you need y value and you need ds value right mm, now if you want to write m dash equation what you need to take you need to consider a beam of same span of same load remember you need to consider a beam of same span same load okay instead of arch so this is length r length r after the load and length r before the load right this is now a beam with 2r span 2 times r span having load p at the center of the beam now you take a section uh, anyway, this is uh, the, the point of uh, uh, location to write mx in the arch. Hence, the same location I try to replicate. So, x is the location for writing mx. So, now you write mx for the beam. That is nothing but m dash. Okay. So, is equal to sum of all moments to the left. So what do you have to the left of this section? Only vertical reaction. What is vertical reaction? It is very simple. As the load is at center, 
the reaction is p by 2 so it's very simple p by 2 into x load into the distance moment at this uh, section x x right so sum of all moments to the left it is p by 2 into x that is what is written here okay now what uh, now you have another cartesian uh, coordinate appearing here in this uh, m, m dash equation that is x so you need to replace for x also what is x in terms of r and theta okay so what is x now so see this uh, even it is earlier discussed i once again repeat this uh, topic right circular geometry so the component of radius r so this is r okay this this is r radius this length is r center and the point on the arch this is semicircle half of the circle right so r sin theta is the opposite component r sin theta right the adjacent component is r cos theta this one this one is uh, this is r now cos theta right now what is x value so this is x value so what is uh, this total value from here to here is r radius so r minus r sin theta will give you x value so what is x uh, from uh, the geometry x is equal to r minus r sin theta so that is what is replaced here p into x x is r minus r sin theta divided by 2 what is y now y is equal to this this ordinate y okay this is y so what is y it is equal to directly r cos theta so y is r cos theta okay what is ds uh, already uh, discussed uh, earlier ds is equal to r times d theta okay right so now uh, we deal with uh, numerator separately and denominator separately and finally we divide numerator uh, with the denominator to get h value that way we will proceed so what is numerator if you see integral this uh, part this part of the equation only numerator uh, numerator you take so integral m dash y ds what is m dash px by 2 okay what is x again r minus r sin theta that you see it here okay so this is what it is so m dash is p into r minus r sin theta by 2 what is y r cos theta that is here what is ds r d theta okay right now all the constants will come out of the integration so p times r comes out from these two terms r into one more r here and one more r here so r cube so p r cube divided by 2 this is constant okay now right so you have to integrate throughout the arch from a to c and c to b okay from a to b you have to integrate complete uh, arch reason you are using strain energy remember so strain energy is total strain energy in the arch total arch means what from a to b so i split the integration you, you can see i introduced two times 0 to pi by 2 right two times 0 to pi by 2 means what theta 0 means this point 
theta 90 means this point so 0 to 90 again to the right of c also 0 to 90 okay so two times 0 to 90 will have total arch covered okay so that's why it is written you can even write from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that doesn't matter again we will be writing 2 times 0 to pi by 2 when you are able to write like this uh, you must check for symmetry then only it is possible if there is no symmetry you can't write like this you have to completely integrate from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 compulsory right so that's why it is because of symmetry uh, we are able to write uh, the integration uh, by uh, now splitting it into two right so two times zero to pi by two then what is remaining inside then one minus sine theta is there cos theta is there and d theta is there okay by uh, after bringing out all the constants p r q by 2 uh, is constant and why this uh, 2 is written here uh, just explain that the integration process uh, the limits are applied from 0 to pi by 2 because of symmetry the other half of arch is also same that's why we write two times right next uh, how we integrate that so it is by substitution method 1 minus sine theta let it be t okay so you have two terms here 1 minus sine theta and cos theta so if i say 1 minus sine theta is t and you partially differentiate this one so one is uh, no differentiation is zero minus sine theta uh, will will be cos theta d theta and uh, the the right hand side is dt okay so what you have here uh, 1 minus sin theta we can replace it with t okay and cos theta d theta you can replace it with only cos theta d theta is available so minus dt it will be so why minus has come because minus is there in in this equation right so minus t dt you can replace 1 minus sine theta cos theta d theta by minus t dt then how limits will change right uh, now your uh, uh, limits earlier were 0 to pi by 2 now what happens you substitute for theta in this uh, equation so if theta is 0 sine 0 0 t will become 1 so lower limit uh, earlier it was 0 when you are using theta now the uh, integration has come in terms of t so t is equal to 1 when theta is equal to 0 t is equal to 1 and when theta is equal to pi by 2 that is sin 90 is 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so t will become 0 so integration uh, limits will become 1 to 0 not from 0 to pi by 2 okay so minus pr cube uh, 2 uh, uh, gets cancelled here so that's why here it is 2 getting cancelled so you have only pr cube here now t dt uh, as minus uh, is coming out t dt is t square by 2 and 0 to now 1 uh, is the lower limit upper limit is 0 so upper limit minus lower limit so 0 minus 1 by 2 so minus of minus plus finally you will be getting p r cube by 2 so if you see applying limits carefully upper limit is 0 so put t is equal to 0 you will have 0 upper limit minus lower limit is 1 substitute for 1 so you have t is equal to 1 so 1 by 2 
So 0 minus 1 by 2, it will be minus 1 by 2 into minus PR cube. So minus of minus plus it has become. So this is numerator value, right? Uh, coming to denominator value. So integral y square ds is the formula uh, where you find it in h equation. So same here, uh, uh, make it uh, you know, uh, symmetry. So 2 times 0 to pi by 2. y is r cos theta square whole square. ds is r d theta. Okay, so take uh, constant terms outside, r is constant. So r square here and r here. So r cube will be coming out. So what is cos square theta it is to be replaced by 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. Okay, r d theta, right. r cube is coming out. This 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So r cube will only remain outside. And uh, uh, if you say 0 to pi by 2, uh, uh, if you apply now, so 1 plus cos 2 theta uh, d theta is remaining. So uh, now if you uh, split this into two terms again, so 0 to pi by 2, uh, 1 will become theta. So integration of 1 is theta. So apply limits for that 0 to pi by 2. Then cos 2 theta d theta will be sine 2 theta by 2. And apply limits for that. So it will be 0 to pi by 2. Okay. So now uh, the first term, apply limits for the first term. So pi by 2 minus 0 will be pi by 2. And if you apply uh, limits here, so upper limit is sin uh, pi by 2 into 2 it will be sin pi sin 180 is 0 and again sin 0 is 0 so this term will finally become 0 so what you have is only pi by 2 minus 0 so it is pi by 2 so second term is 0 so pi r cube by 2 is the denominator value which is constant for a semicircle having radius r because uh, y is go is never going to change y is always r cos theta for a semicircle so for all the problems of uh, semicircular denominator we will evaluate in the same way so we will always refer to this derivation uh, uh, for the denominator uh, always okay for a semicircular geometry so now you substitute uh, these two values uh, the numerator value and the denominator value into uh, formula of h where uh, the numerator value is p r cube by 2 denominator is pi r cube by 2 okay so r cube and r cube uh, gets cancelled 2 and uh, 2 is getting cancelled P by pi is the horizontal reaction in the arch. Okay. So this is how uh, we are able to solve the horizontal thrust, uh, which is asked for uh, a semicircular uh, arch of radius uh, R, semicircular arch subjected to concentrated load uh, P at the crown. Okay. This is only uh, for the case of uh, crown, uh, load at the crown. So the value of H is P divided by pi, right? So H value is P by pi, right? And uh, VA and VB, you can easily get it from equilibrium equation sigma m0 or sigma f y0 and uh, here it is very simple to say p by 2 and p by 2 because uh, p is that center even if you do uh, use that uh, equilibrium equations uh, you are able to get uh, reactions as p by 2 and p by 2 
so now if you see uh, we are able to solve all the uh, external reactions uh, in the two hinged arch um, unless otherwise uh, you don't know uh, the what is a formula for h uh, we never uh, will be uh, it is never possible for us to solve for h value right so for a semicircle uh, of radius r uh, having concentrated load p at uh, crown the value of horizontal reaction is p by pi okay thank you